Welcome back. I cannot believe we're, we've been working together for almost a month now. Now, it looks like we will not get outside for any of our sessions because this pollen is terrible. But are you and the family getting ready for Easter? Okay. Great, 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 great. Yeah, I, I got my stuff too. <laughs> well, let's recap on our last few sessions. I think we've really covered a lot of ground and I'm so happy you are ready and willing to work towards, you know, getting up more and engaging in family activities like you used to. Now, last week we talked a lot about change and the fear associated with change. What I love the most is the fact you have decided to cut back on the drinking and titrate yourself down to none. That is definitely one of the objectives we were going to discuss today. So you're already ahead of the game. So tell me something. What has the past week been like for you? You know, since you've added journaling and let's drink into our plan. Okay. All right, all right. Ah, well, that sounds good. And you know, it's interesting because that's one of the things I want you to continue to think about. You know, some of the other things that you like to do and some of the things that have been helping you cope. So that's awesome. I'm also, I'm so excited to see that you haven't been sleeping as much. And wow, you attended the Sorensen Gala alone. That is awesome. And, and that's important, too, because, you know, you talked a lot about um, your family needing you and, you know, not being able to get up and go. But I think another part of that is definitely you being able to do some things to give you some me time and to give you an opportunity to do the things that makes you feel good. And so I'm really excited about that. That's beautiful, though. You're doing a wonderful job. It seems like that made you feel very significant and you didn't have drinks while others were drinking. That is marvelous. I'm so happy for you. Okay, okay. All right. Well, I know we've talked about getting back on top of things at work and even finding activities which best suit your interests and needs. So what are some of the other things you would like to accomplish? All right. Okay, so we want to we want to continue to deal with the work on the drinking. We want to do we want to find some activities that you can you know kind of break away from everybody and have some me time. And you want to work on some lists. All right, so let's see. Since you're titrating yourself and it seems like you've been doing very well, what a what a what does a good goal sound like? You know, I know you said that you were drinking maybe three out of seven days. How about what is decreasing drinking to once or twice weekly? Sound? How does that sound? Okay. And then finding three activities to, to help you um, that you can participate in. I know you said that you want to do some things on your own. So I think that would be, um, that that's feasible. Definitely. And developing a daily task list for work to prevent becoming overwhelmed and make sure that in that we're including prioritization. I think, I think that'll help us a lot. This is wonderful. Well, yes, yes, we have agreed on the three goals we're going to work on for the next few weeks. Now, what I want to do is I want to leave future scheduling up to you. I think we can definitely meet two more times on a weekly basis. And then how do you feel about switch, switching over to bi-weekly? Okay, okay. And, and, and I want you to understand that I love working with you and I think you're doing well, but I also want to provide you an opportunity to participate in activities you like. Um, and maybe you could go to yoga or dance, you know, on the days you would normally come see me, you know, at the same time to maintain that consistency. How do you feel about that? Well, today was awesome. Today was awesome. So we have our goals together. You're titrating on your own, getting ready for Easter. You're going to decrease that drinking and get your task list together and find some activities. And hey, if you find a good dance class, I might just join you. So that would that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I've been out of it for a while. But yeah, dancing is definitely a great outlet. Okay. All right. Well, how do you feel? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, I will see you next week.